Adam Webb is an unwatchable pile of garbage, and this movie is borderline unwatchable. The Crow is a movie that despite getting a lot of bad reviews, I actually did not hate. Bill Skarsgård does fine for the title role. Danny Houston is serviceable. There is one cool action scene in the movie, but there is one scene with really bad green screen. And I feel like the dialogue in this film was mostly awful. Hellboy the Crooked Man is a film that I feel similarly to. It's a decent film. The main actor who plays Hellboy does a good job. There's one cool action scene. There is some very noticeable CG effects. Now, obviously, this film had a lower budget, so unlike Madam Web and The Crow, this one at least had an excuse of why the effects weren't that great. We didn't need this reboot, and I really wish we would just get a third one with Ron Perlman. This movie is not as bad as some people say it is, but it's not great and it's nowhere near as good as the first Joker. Joaquin Phoenix, as usual, is fantastic as Arthur Fleck slash Joker. He gives it his all. Lady Gaga is terrific as Harley Quinn. These two actors have great chemistry and their singing is really good. The movie is flawlessly shot. The cinematography is outstanding. The music is great. Now, as for flaws with this movie, I will say this. There are some certain characters who feel like they come and go. The movie is a little too long. I felt the length sometimes. I'm not going to get into spoilers, but the ending I feel could have been a little bit better. Joker Fully Adu is not a terrible film. It's not one of the worst films of the year, but it's not as great as it could have been. Watchmen Chapter 1 is incredibly underrated. This is a great animated movie and I can't wait to see Chapter 2. Transformers 1 is a huge surprise for me because I'll be honest when I saw the trailer I wasn't exactly impressed but I'm surprised to say this film was awesome. Chris Hemsworth does a great job as Optimus Prime and when he was cast I was skeptical at first because Peter Cullen is so tied with this role but Chris Hemsworth does a great job in his own right. Brian Tyree Henry is awesome as Megatron. He may have been my favorite part of the movie personally. Scarlett Johansson does a good job as Alita 1. Keegan-Michael Key is hilarious as Bumblebee. The movie has stunning animation and fantastic action scenes. The soundtrack is great. Transformers 1 was a huge surprise and this is one of my favorite films of the year. Deadpool and Wolverine is my new favorite film of the year. Ryan Reynolds does a fantastic job as Deadpool, and this is his best performance as the character. Hugh Jackman is once again amazing as Wolverine, and it is so good to see him back in this role. And the chemistry between him and Ryan Reynolds was flawless. The action scenes are incredible. They're very entertaining and a lot of fun. The movie is also very funny. I was laughing consistently without getting into any spoilers there are some surprise cameos and the surprise cameos were great i absolutely love deadpool and wolverine this is my new favorite film of the year